welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Feels like it's been a little bit, maybe a little over a week since we did our last surgery video. Got some good stuff going on here today. White trusty hair dryer back in action for today, ladies and gentlemen. And you guys know that usually when we get a new WWE Elite Action Figure set, we typically roll them into the surgery room, into the operating table. We get started on it and try to fix up those figures. Now, unfortunately, the whole set couldn't be represented Rhea Ripley, I don't have her basic, so I couldn't pop her basic on there. See what that looks like. I may do that in the future. Angel Garza, I feel like it was a pretty perfect figure. Sha same thing goes for Sheamus. I just don't see anything really roughly wrong with those figures. I think all three of those are great. Buddy Murphy, I mean, maybe add knee pads. I mean, you could add knee pads if you wanted to. Add some open knee pads or something like that to them if you, you know, if you, you felt crazy. Sheamus, I really want to update my Wyatt Colt Sheamus, but the reason I don't want to do that is because then I'll have to keep taking off that work suit if I ever want to put Sheamus in a predictions video, in a review video, or any video to do with the main roster. I'll have to remove that shirt. I really don't want to do that, so I was like, yeah, I'll have to wait until I get an extra one to update my Wyatt Colt one, and maybe we can do that maybe when they get to retail or maybe something like that, but here today we still got some good stuff represented. We're going to fix up some different figures. I can't wait to get into it, guys. We do have Elite 84 Roman featured. You guys will see back there with the Blue Universal Championship. We got to start off with the guy on the operating table, and there goes Bray Football Wyatt just going ahead and ruining everything. He's falling because he doesn't have any damn feet. That's what he gets for being one of the worst figures of last year. Anyways, here is our Elite Roman Reigns and this is actually not the Elite 84 but we are going to take the Elite 84 right here. We are going to take this figure and our Elite 84 and we're going to use it to create some different Roman Reigns looks. Now we have my promo gear Roman on the right or we have my Elite 84 Roman in the middle and then we have my current day Roman Reigns and since this one actually fills up the shoulder with a tattoo. I'm going to continue using this one. All we're going to do is head swap it with the True Effects version that the uh, Elite 84 came with. So this version looks a little bit better than that. And maybe at a later date, I'll possibly... I mean, I'm getting custom head sculpts done by BEW as we speak. So once those arrive, we're going to have to do even more surgery. So, I mean, that's just that's just what it is. We'll have to update our Romans, get the pick fed stuff over here. We'll, we'll showcase all that when it comes time. But this head sculpt's going to go over here for my updated Roman for now. After that, guys, we are going to remove this this shirt and this shirt. Switch these two t-shirts and put the heel Roman head sculpt, the serious man bun head sculpt over here. And what I may do at a later date also is go ahead and do the same thing that we did for this one, like with the, you know, the faded hair and the beard and everything. But again, BEW is working on that right now, making me that. So I think for today, just so I don't waste my time painting and all that stuff, I'm going to just switch this head over here, switch that shirt over here and give him the, you know, gauntletless promo attire Roman Reigns for, for future stuff. So that's what we're going to do with these three Roman Reigns. I think that'll all look pretty damn swell and dandy. Up next, we're going to be taking this extra Fiend figure. You guys will know this used to be my Elite Bray Wyatt. I'm going to put these extra Bray Wyatt legs onto here, and then I'm going to put this Man Bun Bray Wyatt head sculpt on here. I think this head on this body with these legs would be a really cool, like, Ultimate Bray Wyatt look. I know it's not the Ultimate Edition because we already made my Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt that's over there, but I still think it could work for something really cool. So we're going to combine all three of those together to give us that. I'm also thinking about popping these sleeves off and making a Prince Devitt. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do just yet, but I think these sleeves will work perfect for the Spider-Man 2099 attire or whatever that he wore that one time in the Indies. We'll see about that. I think it was his like last match ever on the Indies. Then we get to Elite 84 Jeff Hardy. Now for this one, I thought of a few different things, but I think a head swap is what we're going to be doing. I tried to think of different arm swaps and different cool stuff to do, but I think this is the formula that we're going to use and I think it should look pretty badassery. So putting the Elite 84 head, this head sculpt right here over on this Elite 67 body is going to look fantastic with these blues and whites and blacks going on to this with this shirt that matches in color and everything would look really, really good with this. I'm going to put this head sculpt somewhere else, probably in my extra baggie of heads. And then I'm going to take this basic Jeff head and put it onto the shirtless. So I'll have a back tattoo face paintless Jeff Hardy Elite right here. I try to think of some arm to put on here. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it for now. Maybe a cool fix up will pop in my brain or maybe when we get some extras in here, I'll add that to it. But that is all that we're going to be doing there for that fix up. So all the fix ups that we're doing require three figures. So we're doing the three Jeff way, the three Roman way, and the three Bray way. And uh, I almost added Buddy Murphy for knee pads, but I mean, it's knee pads. Brad, literally, if you guys want to know how you do that, you just heat up right here, pop these kick pads off, slide the knee pads on, pop them back. It's not like Seth Rollins where you have to remove the lower, the lower leg. So that, that works 
works out great. But before we move on, guys, I actually have to showcase some stuff right here that I think will help you guys out. If you guys want interchangeable hands, my boy 14 Fig sent these over. He's on Instagram. Go check him out. He sells head cast. This is a bad luck folly head cast. I'm gonna paint this here today, but he does sell bad luck folly. He also has some other heads over on his website. I know he's got Kota Ibushi over there. He's got Fale. He's got Gangrel. He's got some really good head sculpts over there that you can pick up for purchase, guys. So link in the description to that. Also, his Instagram page will be down there. So he sells head casts, and he also sells interchangeable hands. So we have our switchblade hands, and again, you can actually, you know, you can paint these. I don't think they come painted, but you can just paint these the right skin tone, and these are interchangeable hands. So you have the switchblade hands. You have two sweet hands for all your Bullet Club customs, and then you you know, you, your boy had to pick up his favorite. You gotta have the shooter hands right there. So, you know my Balor collection and my Bullet Club collection gonna be looking fly with my shooter hands. So, 14 Fig, link to his website, link to his Instagram page down below, guys. Go check him out. Pick up some interchangeable hands, pick up some head casts, and we're gonna get some usage out of this in the collection, but a huge shout out to 14 Fig. Let's get started on some action figure surgery. Alright, guys, so I guess our, for our first order of business, I guess we'll start off with Jeff Hardy. We'll go ahead and get Jeff Hardy knocked out of the way. We got our basic figure here. We also have our two elites. Now, the only thing that sucks is these new elites, man. They make the peg hole for the head sculpts really, really small, and I don't want to, you know, mess up anything. I don't want to ruin a torso. I don't want to do any of that, so I'm going to try my best not to heat it up way too long or anything like that. We don't have to remove any shirts or anything, which we'll have to do with Roman Reigns, but we are going to go ahead and heat up all three of these. We'll get these switched out and stuff like that, and hopefully not run in, in, into any football trouble. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, let's see if this is good enough. We're going to start off with the basic here, and oh my God in heaven. Good Jesus. You see how small that peg is, man? That's why you got to be careful with these Jeff Hardy fit. Like, oh my God, I got to be super duper careful. All right, we got that one. Good, good, good. Now pop this one off. Oh, Lord, heaven, Jesus. That was not good. All right. Ah. Oh, shit. My thumb was like numb by the end, Brad. Thumb was numb. That rhymed. Unintentional. All right, let's see if we can get this new Elite 84 on the 67. All right, we got that. We'll take a look at that Jeff at the end. And then for our shirtless 84, we're going to put on the non-face paint Jeff head. Urgh. And then we'll take a closer look at that at the end as well. And for this, this is going to go into my Jeff Hardy baggy fodder. I don't want to really put it on this basic. Like, yeah, it'd probably look cool. It kind of looks like what he wore last night, to be honest with you. If you guys watched Monday Night Raw. But I'm going to put this in my baggy thing. We'll put the Jeff basic in the crowd for the future or something. And yeah, let's move on, Bradley. All right, so for our next order of business, we're going to be heating up this head skull because I don't think this is the interchangeable one. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm, I'm very afraid. I don't want to, you know, I'm sad. I don't want to snap that. But the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to remove the shirt again if you ever heat up accessories or something man you just want to heat this stuff up don't be stupid you know he don't heat it up get it out of the way of the hair dryer i honestly wouldn't even recommend it being here i'd move it away like get it away you don't have to ruin it you don't have to worry about nothing i'm gonna go ahead and pop this head sculpt off because that is the head sculpt we're gonna pop over here and then i'm gonna get rid of the blue universal championship right here put that up there get my little clear plastic thing get that out of the way because that will melt and then take off that record everyone leave t-shirt and again we're not going to stick this on right now we're going to wait we're going to wait until the other one's head is popped off so here's the elite 84 again i would use this as the base but you guys can see that gap right there that little gap right there ruined it for me so i'm not going to be using this as my updated roman that's why we're going to be using this roman for our updated one i do need the back tattoo decal or whatever but let's go ahead and heat up this roman head sculpt and i guess while we do that we can heat up the other roman head sculpt because the uh, the two we're switching on these two doesn't even have to be heated up, which makes it absolutely brilliant. But let's go ahead and heat up these Roman heads and we'll get these switched out. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if we can get the Roman ring to... Oh, my God. Maybe it... Maybe it was the interchangeable version, and I just, I just didn't know nothing. I just didn't know squat, apparently. All right, popping the pissed-off Roman head on there. We will put his shirt on in a second. We got to get this head sculpt off first. And, oh, Lord heaven, that didn't feel good in the hand, Brad. Not going to lie to you. 
All right, we got that off. That was a little challenging. I'm now gonna put these heads in my extra Roman fodder baggy thing. All right, here is our updated Roman or match Roman. I need to make a gold gauntlet, to be honest with you, but that looks pretty football good. We'll take a look at that at the end with the rest of the ish that we did here today, but we're not finished yet because we got to. We got to load up the, uh, we got to put on the Wreck Everyone and Leaf shirt onto this Roman, and then we'll see what he looks like at the end. So putting this shirt on here. I love the way these Mattel shirts fit, bro. It's so nice, and it seems like they changed it. You remember how, like, shiny the shirts used to be? I don't feel like they're as shiny as they used to be. I could be tripping, or maybe it's just the black shirts that aren't as shiny, but I could have sworn like Elite 27 Kofi Kingston shirt. I remember that one being like really, really shiny. This one just doesn't have that. It's kind of matte and stuff, but let's look at Roman Reigns at the end and we'll see how that looks. All right, guys, so four down. We've got what, two to go or one to go? I think one to go. Yeah, one to go. Get rid of these. So for the last order of business, guys, we have our little fiend body right here. We're going to pop this head sculpt on here. I hope that this head sculpt even looks remotely John Brown close or good on on this body. Hopefully that is the case. Where is my legs? Oh yeah, it's holding the hairdryer in place. Hopefully that doesn't blow away. Also, these legs are going to be pretty loosey-goosey when we add them to this fiend body because I've done it before, but uh, I'm going to do something weird right here. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's a, that's a, uh, yeah, I mean, you, guess it'll have to do. Alright guys, here we go. Hopefully the face didn't melt to the John Brown crotch here. So let's go ahead and pop this off. Oh, sweet Jesus. And then we're gonna pop this head over here. I don't think I've seen, I think I've seen people do this. I just don't recall it in my brain. Like I don't think they've put these legs on there. We'll just have to see. Anyways, let's go ahead. Now I have like this ringside body that's just pretty much nothingness. Alright, there's that. Again, I'm going to have to put Mod Podge on these. God in heaven, these legs are on fire. I'm going to have to put Mod Podge on these ball joints over here, or these ball socket peg things, just so I can uh, make it, like, tight, because they're going to be loosey-goosey, like I already told you. See, like, they're kind of loose. They're not as loosey-goosey as before, but uh, I'm definitely going to have to put some more on there because it's not quite right. But there we go, Brad. Now, uh, I guess we can go ahead and take a look at everything we've done here today on action figure surgery and see what the hell we got. All right, guys, well, here is everything that we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Five fix-ups slash customs. I call them fix-ups. They're not customs. We didn't paint anything here today. However, we did do some pretty cool things. Well, technically, I guess this one is a custom because the crotch is painted. But outside of that, Brad, this is what we got going. Oh, my God. Embarrassment. Oh. All right, guys, so here is the first Jeff Hardy right here, and I think it works out perfectly. I like this head sculpt way more because it's not yelling. Why are you yelling? So it looks good. I like this a lot. Again, the blues tie in perfectly with the sleeves and the black and the white and the blue and you get the idea. Looks beautiful. Think this is perfect. I don't have a problem with that. Can't wait to get the Chase variant Hardy and more Hardy Boy and more Jeffs just to do more fix-ups like this one and switch out parts and stuff. I mean, that is that is literally so great. Then we have the Elite 84 fix-up with the non-face paint Jeff Hardy head sculpt and I think it looks great. You got the back tattoo. You got the non-face paint Jeff. You can put a mesh shirt on here. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do with this, but I like the, the range of motion this head sculpt gets. Like, every Mattel Elite should have at least this much range of motion. You can look up a little. You know, you get a little head pivot. This is how much it should have, not where it's like stiffy lippy and you can't even look down. So this is really nice. I love the way that turned out and everything like that. I guess we can cover Bray since he's standing and Roman wants to take a damn nap. This is the Bray. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it, it looks a little bit odd, like from the front, I think, but I think it looks okay. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I think it looks better from the side angles than the very front and the back looks pretty good, like the wideness and the, you know, like the girth of Bray in this thing, but you know, you can let me know down below what you guys think. I think the height is pretty John Brown perfect as well. You guys can let me know. I'm, I'm collecting a slow, nice little collection of Bray Wyatt fix-ups and elites right now, at least in the Fiend's perspective and the Firefly Funhouse Bray perspective, except for this guy. 
But next up, guys, we have the last two. We got the Roman. Here's the promo Roman and the Wreck Everyone and Leave. More accurate. Looks good. Got the joggers on there. Got the pissed off head. Of course, it looked better with the fade and the thick beard and everything. But again, I wasn't going to do that just simply because BEW is working on that for me. So for now, we have to wait a little bit. But the Wreck Everyone and Leave promo Roman looks really good. And I like it better than the smiling one. You know, he's pissed off. He looks good. Wreck Everyone Leave shirt. Can't wait to get more Romans for more fix-ups and stuff. Then we have the updated in-match Roman. I need to do the gold gauntlet. I just, you know, I just haven't gotten around to it, and I don't think I like any of my gold colors. I need to go pick up a new gold, but this head sculpt certainly looks better than the one that's more cartoony. The shoulder tat is full. The gauntlets are black. He looks great. He looks absolutely fantastic, but I think that is everything we are going to do here today on Action Figure Surgery. Guys, you guys said let me know what you think of all these down in the comment section below and everything like that. If you guys want to know how to make this promo Roman, I did do a full video tutorial on how to do it. Just switch out the parts that we were using for Elite 84 Roman shirt and head and it's the same exact deal there and a huge another shout out to 14 fig guys go check out his website and his instagram for the casted heads and the interchangeable hands that you guys can use with your wwe figures and stuff but i'm getting the hell out of here guys let's get into our random shout out this is going to go to jesse altman who says i love how we get a disciple murphy before we get a messiah rollins and he is completely true if you're counting elites because we did get the basic messiah but who wants a basic messiah man i don't know why they did that honestly Honestly, I think it's kind of crazy that that is what happened unless we end up getting one in the next wave because Seth Rollins is in the next wave or he's in the Elite 86. I can't remember. I think he's in Elite 86, not 85, but I think that's from SummerSlam and I don't think he wore the Messiah gear at the SummerSlam. I think it was a little different. I don't think it was the black one. He wore the pink one unless we're getting that pink Messiah gear with Rey Mysterio, which I think could be cool, but it wouldn't match Murphy. I don't know. We'll just have to see about that, but huge shout out to Jesse Allman for the random comment guys leave me a comment like the video subscribe turn on the bell and uh yeah i'm getting the hell out of here thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video where's my line wait did i say line you can't say line you crossed the line i've been